Hello and welcome to Cash Jones Today I'm here in Stepford County Railway for today's 1.8.3 update. Now this update has meshed three trains, or two types of trains, these being the class 380 and the 22221 voyages. So let's begin with the 380. Uh, hopefully it's good and isn't a disaster area as some of the trains I've seen have been. So they load in. Looks fine, the front looks alright, nothing too off about it. Uh, now in the cab, it looks mostly alright. There's a couple issues over here. But other than that, looks pretty fine. Pretty much fine. Um, I like the livery, I like the yellow front. The interior, uh, of course, uh, pretty similar, but I, I, I like these little things uh, on the sides. I don't think I've ever seen these before. These look a little strange, but I'm just going to assume they're accurate because I don't know why in the world else that would have happened. Um, this, the roof looks fine. Uh, the bogeys, undercarriage, uh, all that looks, it looks alright. Nothing too special. That's a little meh, you know. Nothing crazy. Just your average mesh train. 6 out of 10. Slightly better than average. It's alright. And now, in a second, we'll be looking at the voyages, those being the 220 and the 221. And with that, every express train will have been meshed, which is the first way to, to have that uh, happen. So, let's look at that. So, these are the express trains, 220 and 221, and do seem to actually have a couple differences. So I guess I'll quickly look at both, but let's begin with the 220. So, class 220 is, uh, looks nice from this view. And immediately, I do like it. Front looks good. Cab is fine. Again, couple issues. Honestly, this is actually better than quite a few trains. Uh, I'm noticing a little bit of shaking, but I think that's just the Roblox engine. And the carriage again looks pretty much fine. Exterior of the train generally looks good. Roof looks fine. The interior, I like this interior, I really do. It's a very nice interior. Uh, I'm gonna be probably driving this quite a lot. I really do like this. It's probably one of my favorite mesh trains so far uh, for the game. So, great job to, uh, to the developer mesh this train. Uh, it looks really good. I'll give it like a 9 out of 10, it's really nice looking. I don't have much else to say about it, um, it's just a really good train. Uh, obviously a good amount of work was put into this, and it was, it, it was good, it's good work. It looks great. So. And we'll just check the 221, which is very similar. So it does have a couple differences. So I'll look at that in a second. Looks good. Now the question is, what are they going to mesh next? And, well, it seems that it would make sense for them to mesh all the trains. Uh, now that I'm pretty sure all of the CSD trains 
on mesh, and for some reason they decided they wanted to mesh all those. I don't know why, but they did. So, oh, I like the door sounds. Good door sounds. New sounds, always nice. I don't think I noticed any other sounds that were new, but I really do like those door sounds. They're very nice. This is uh, going to take a minute. So I guess I'll just discuss what I think the new mesh trains will be. So the 508 really does need it. It looks pretty terrible. The textures on it are awful. It, it really needs it. No one uses the 508 because of how bad it looks. Um, the 158 is maybe slightly better, but it's also not great, so it really needs to be remade too. Pretty much all of the older ones should probably be remade. You know, generally the older it is, the worse quality it is, which that makes sense, you know. You get better at making things the longer you do it in general. So, yeah. But with that, we'll just check out the new 221 uh, in a second, which will probably be very similar, but who knows? Maybe it will have some great difference for some reason. Makes it significantly worse or somehow better, even though this was already a very good model. So. Now for the 221. It doesn't look very different like at all, which makes sense, but I am noticing slightly different undercarriage and maybe even some slightly different other things. I don't know. But let's see. The sounds feel like they're different. I think that's a different sound. The cab, very similar. Not noticing that being weird, so that's that's good. Sounds I like the undercarriage. It's also just fine. Um, it's different, but it's it's fine. Um, yeah, this is very similar, but just because of that little tab thing not being broken. Though, uh, that might actually just be because I'm not on the far reaches of the map. That might be a Roblox thing, I'm not certain. I'm going to give this a 9.5 out of 10. So, that's all for the new 1.8.3 update. I'm Dikastro, and goodbye.